Hey there folks, I've been holding back on this video all winter long because the subject matter is really dependent on the temperature. Spring's kind of here. We got a couple inches of snow the other day and there's still snow on the ground so it's not really warm enough for this yet. Late April snowstorm. Robins be like, what the fuck? But uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I'm in the biodiesel industry and uh, I gather that some of you are here from the grease car community and uh, some of you are looking to get into it. Maybe you got a waste oil heater for your shop. Uh, this video is basically a crash course in uh, alternative fuels in general for any diesel engine. Um, you would also use this for a waste oil heater or a waste, uh, what do they call that? Waste oil boiler. Now, the reason I waited till spring so I didn't get any pussies wet and have you guys go out and gel up your fuel system because it's too cold out for a rich blend, then have you blabbing me for bad information, man. Spring's close. If you're just getting started it's going to take you a while to get set up to do this anyway so first things first i offer this information with the disclaimer that although i know this stuff is for fact true because i've done it myself you're totally on your own when it comes to blending fuel and putting it in your tank you fuck up your f-250 it's your fault if you can't tell the difference between water and oil and i've seen people make that mistake you got no business trying to stick it to the man second thing second if you don't understand the theory of operation of a four cycle diesel engine, this information might as well be a step by step instruction for landing a 747. It's going to go right over your head. See what I did there? Third thing's third. The cycles of a four cycle diesel are the same as a gas engine intake, compression, power, and exhaust. Or some people like to say, suck, squeeze, bang, blow. I always thought that made people sound stupid, but then a buddy of mine. Opened up a biker bar in South Carolina called Suck Bang Blow, and it's actually quite the attraction. So if you're ever buzzing through Myrtle Beach, stop in and tell the bartender Joe 30 Pack sent you. I can't say for sure, but you'll probably get a free Who the Fuck is Joe 30 Pack? The cycles are the same, but there's one huge difference in the intake stroke. While the gas engine draws in fuel air mixture, the diesel draws in just air. When turbo aside, that's a conversation for another time. You know, we're taking baby steps here. Now, the compression ratio is also different on the compression strokes between these two types of engines. The gas are being around 12, maybe 16 to 1, while the diesel is more like 22 to 1. When the air in the combustion chamber of the diesel is squeezed that tight, the air molecules heat up so hot from the friction of that, just before top dead center, cold atomized diesel fuel is injected into the cylinder and it explodes causing the power stroke unlike the wimpy gas engine that relies on an electric spark to ignite the air fuel mixture okay you picking up what I'm laying down so far so this should be common knowledge but I see it on forums all the time somebody will say ah gas uses spark plugs and diesel uses glow plugs yeah that's true but the glow plug all it's for is to heat up the intake air in a pre-chamber to help the cold engine start glow plugs are off as soon as you get going it's compression ignition, just like I had mentioned before, how that works. The big rigs, they don't need no stinking glow plugs. Some of you guys probably see where this is going, and the rest are going, what the fuck's this guy talking about? Now, fuel is any material that's burned to produce heat or power, so vegetable oil is fuel. You ever hear of a restaurant burning down and they call it a grease fire? That's what we're looking to do here, a controlled grease fire in our combustion chamber. So, the trick, the moment I've all been waiting for. There's only one hurdle you got to get over to burning oil in your diesel, and that's getting it there. Am I telling you that you can run vegetable oil, biodiesel, waste vegetable oil, automatic transmission fluid, used engine oil in your diesel pickup truck as diesel fuel? Yes. Will I put my money where my mouth is and run it in my own truck? No. Now, I've made my own fuel in the past and would certainly do it if the conditions were right, but more importantly, if the need was there. Israel bombs Iran and diesel fuel goes up to seven bucks a gallon? Fuck yeah. Russia bombs the UK and diesel goes up to 19 bucks a gallon? Fuck yeah. President Camacho bombs the whole fucking world and fuel is non-existent? Hell yeah. Now, when I first got into making biodiesel, the money was a little tighter than it is now and I burned a lot more fuel. It totally made sense. I drove over 100,000 miles on this small fleet of trucks I had on waste vegetable oil that I simply blended and blended well with diesel fuel once I realized that biodiesel wasn't necessary. Now when you make biodiesel, what you're doing is you're stripping the glycerin out of the vegetable oil. 
a little bit of glycerin eh, it's probably going to coke up eventually over time i kind of compare it to smoking cigarettes you know you can do it for a long time but eventually it's going to catch up with you if you're rocking a 1995 f-250 with a 7.3 and it's got 250,000 miles who cares run it now here's the money shot the ratio for something like this a nice thick oil that still has the glycerin in it is 50 50 when the ambient temperature is over 50 degrees Fahrenheit 80 20 in the hotter months yeah you can do that but now you're starting to push the envelope you push the envelope far enough that's when you start running into problems now I'll go through the blending process in another video because this one's getting a little long even for my attention span so if you have any questions put it in the comments I'll try and answer it and um, thanks a lot for watching now as a side note I should have mentioned if you're gonna get into this you're probably gonna be dealing with the jugs these are 40 pounders this is what the oil comes in that the restaurant pours into the fryer you're gonna to have to try and talk the restauranteur into pouring it back in the jugs and that's kind of a pain in the ass they're not gonna be that helpful so good luck with that uh, try your local bar uh, bowling alley the smaller restaurants stuff that looks like this don't even bother with it you want something that looks like this or a little bit darker now uh, once you graduate into putting your own container out there that's great but don't steal oil from behind the restaurant in somebody else's container stop get that fucking thing out of here no don't be sorry pack it up pack it up